the 7-6-1 Pittsburgh Steelers coming off a victory over Tennessee. And Kansas City, the hottest team in the National Football League, is 10-4. they got fresh legs. They played last Thursday night. I'm looking at this with Roethlisberger. He's going to need all the help he can get in the world in this game because they're going to have to score a lot of points. And, Coach, they just can't score points. Najee Harris, I brag about him every week because even before the draft, I said, whoever gets him, they're going to get a steal. And they did. He leads the team in rushing almost 900 yards rushing on the season. And he's second in the team in receiving with 62 receptions. On the other side, you look at the defense. T.J. Watt done a heck of a job. Mike Tomlin is unreal. This man will never have a losing season as long as I live. For some reason, even when they have a badger, he ends up 8-8, eight eight, Coach. But on the other side of the ball, you look at Kansas City. You know they're a big favorite this game. They're an eight-point favorite at home at Arrowhead. Well, I tell you what. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I agree with about Harris. I tell you, what's a shame, Mark? He's made some of the greatest runs I've seen getting back to the line and scrimmage because their offensive line is not playing very, very well. Also, when you look at Ben Roethlisberger, he's having a pretty good year. I, I think and he's thrown for 18 touchdowns and only seven interceptions, something similar to that. Uh, but they don't have great receivers. Claypool is not having a great year. When you look at him, uh, uh, John's their leading receiver. But they have problems in the offensive line. They have problems in the defensive line as well, predominantly because of injuries, et cetera. Now, let's look at the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, they are a hot team, Mark, but I don't know if Hill's going to play in the game. He's on the COVID yeah. list right now. And if he doesn't come back, they lose a guy that has 102 receptions, over 1,170 yards, and nine touchdowns. That's an awful lot to lose because he and Kills make a great combination. I think the difference between... Kansas City this year, last year, is Sammy Watkins, who signed with another team. I mean, when you had Sammy Watkins along with uh, Hill and Kelt, they were unstoppable. But I think that uh, because of the talent that Kansas City has and, and the problems that Pittsburgh has, this is not a great defensive football team. If they were, they would be much, much better in the hunt. But let's remember also, Mark, they're only half a game out of first place. If they can find a way to beat Kansas City, I don't think they can. They would be in very, very good shape. That's why I think Kansas City is going to score 26 points. Pittsburgh's going to score 17. I look at this game, break it down. I like Kansas City in this game. It all depends who's playing. As you mentioned, they've got six players right now on the COVID list. And not only Ty Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. So if you think about it, you're losing your top two threats on offense, they're on the COVID list right now. I think it's going to be tough for them. But I look at this team, what Andy, what Andy Reid's been able to do, he's been able to find a way to win. Defensively, they're getting healthy now. Jim Spagnuolo's done a terrific job. With, Steve Spagnuolo's done a terrific job with his defense. They're only giving up an average of 13 points during their seven-game win streak. But they'll find a way to win because of their offensive line. They're going to end up running this football with Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. I like their offensive line. But the player that I like is Trey Smith. He is a rookie at right guard and just mauling people. Every time they play, I try to concentrate on him, watch him in this game, getting to the second level, knocking people down. They are going to be hungry for this game because they're playing at home. Yes, they're an eight-point favorite. They will find a way to not only win but cover even with the COVID issues that they have. I've got Kansas City still winning this game 31 to 19. What has really gained the respect of the Kansas City Chiefs, in my estimation, Mark, is their defense the last seven games. Starting out the year, what was happening was a uh, quarterback was throwing all kinds of interceptions. Their defense was very poor. But their last seven games, he's protected the football, and their defense has played outstanding football, much better than I ever anticipated. After two or three weeks, I thought, well, maybe it was lucky. But seven weeks, they're a very solid defensive football team. But I still am concerned because they don't throw the ball deep, Mark. Everything they're throwing is short, and they're trying to make a big play by catching the ball, running with it. And Kells can do that as well as Hill can. But I do believe that Kansas City is going to overwhelm Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh just has too many problems. What a great tribute is to Tomlin that they're even in the hunt this late in yeah. the year because with offensive line problems and defensive line, they have overcome them to stay very, very solid.